Hey, greetings YouTube. Performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view. And today I want to talk Henry's, particularly the differences between Henry's, because it gets confusing, especially since they all have smiley faces and they're all round, right? And they all have black hats. So I want to talk particularly the difference between the full size Henry and the compact Henry and why you'd pick one or the other. There's also a larger commercial style we're not going to talk about that in the video, um, but they all are commercial rated and they all are meant for over 3000 hours of use, which is a lot longer than most machines. Now, before we get into the differences, let's talk about what's the same between the Henry's. Well, this is what you get, no matter what size Henry you have, you're going to get a hose that's tapered and has a cut on it. What this does is allow you to use this on a crevice tool on a pinch. And the taper, meaning it's wider here than here, the reason for this taper is it creates a velocity stack, so it builds airflow, but it also means the only place something could get stuck would be right here at the tip where you could get to it. So kind of an ingenious, simple solution there. Now, they're both going to have a handle, which has a suction relief valve here, and you can use it either way. They're both going to have a two-piece wand setting. Um, and the, this two-piece wand is telescoping, but it's only telescoping about 10 inches or so maximum. So it is more just for the adjustment to the user. Um, you're going to get a crevice tool. You're going to get a upholstery tool with a dusting brush slide on. You get a nice natural hair dusting brush, and this is a wonderful tool. My wife uses this all the time. And then you get a stub tube adapter. So the way the hoses work are you have to either do this to put the tools on or you must have your handle on there. So you can pick whatever's best for whatever situation you're doing. Now moving on to the back side of Henry's, they both have parking space in the rear for the accessories and the floor tools. You have your on off switch right here. And then you have an indicator light to show if it's plugged in. They both have carrying handles and they both have it's about 30 feet, maybe it's like 33 feet. Uh, you, you can check online what it is, but they both have this manual cord rewind, which I really like. It's satisfying and it simplifies cord rewind mechanisms. Now, just to clarify how long the plug is, here I've laid them both out. There's about a meter or so difference between them, so figure four and a half feet. And you can just see there the difference between 200 on the left and the 160 compact on the right. And again, there's just something satisfying about the manual cord rewind and how fast you can wind it up. Now, where they start to vary are the floor tools. When we start to take the floor tools off, let me pull this wand off, you'll notice that the larger Henry, the 200, has a metal base plate where the Henry compact has a plastic base plate. Now, there is also a slight difference in terms of size of floor tool. Uh, we're talking about a centimeter. We're not talking huge with the floor tool size here. Um, so that's not really a huge deal. The compact Henry has a single articulation there and then has the swivel neck right there. The full size Henry has a double articulation here and the same sort of swivel neck. So what does that translate to for you as the buyer? So what that means is that if you're doing a lot of carpet, the 200 is going to be better. However, none of these have a rotating brush. You can get them as a Henry Extra where they have a turbo brush, but none of these really have a rotating brush for doing medium to high pile carpet like that's common here in the United States. So understand this is really for low pile commercial style carpet not the kind of carpet we usually see in homes here in the United States. And it's great on area rugs. Both of these are great for area rugs as well. So just keep that in mind when you're looking at both of these. All right, looking at them too, they're obviously brothers. And they both have smiling faces. You can take the faces off if you want. Uh, however, if you run your Henry without the face, I do think you might need a psychological evaluation. <laughs> um, anyways, so they both have the motor in the hat portion here, that's what's there, and there's a bumper around on both of them. So let's get to 
some of the differences as we pull their hats off here. There's probably, again, more similarities. So one of the differences is the diameters of the tub. And to give you an idea how, how big or how small the difference is. And here in America, we get a thicker filter than they usually get in Britain. So these filter a little bit better than some of the ones you see overseas. So keep that in mind. The other thing is they both have the same bag in them. This is the exact same bag. This is not the larger or smaller bag, it's the same bag. What is different is this is a bigger tub. So in theory, you could fill this bag a little bit more. Now these are both high flow HEPA bags, which means they're not going to lose suction until they're like stuff full like a pillow. If this is your primary vacuum, you can expect to get at least a month out of one of these bags. They are huge and they're easy to change. One thing I really like about the bag is when you pull it out, there's a seal here, so you can seal it up. This means you don't have to breathe the dust or anything like that. Um, you can just see a very, very large uh, bag in here. And it just slips over so easy. So this has not got anything finicky like some of the other machines with vacuum bags. And that's something I really like. Uh, another quick note is these filters, you're not supposed to wash them. They have a big thing that says do not wash. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but I think it has something to do with the kind of fibers or coating uh, that these filters have on them. And that's how the lid goes on. All right, I've got them both plugged in. And I've got the studio microphone, so what you hear left, what you hear right, is accurate. Let's turn the compact on. Let's turn the full size, the 200. They're both pretty darn quiet. And that's one thing I love about Henry. Let's turn them both on, see if you can hear the difference. Now the other thing I want to note is these both have the 600 and some change watt motor, which is really efficient and really powerful. Hey, I just want to apologize. This next clip is out of focus and overexposed in a few areas. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it, but I just want to apologize for that. So here's the rest of the video. I'm gonna do a working vacuum test. These both have the same motor, the same bag. There really shouldn't be a difference between them, but let's just see. First up, the compact. About 70 steel, maybe 75. Eh, about 49 to 50 inches of working vacuum. Let's do the 200. About 50 inches of working vacuum. About 70, 75 sealed. So you can see the suction difference really isn't any different. Bigger does not mean more powerful. I think one of the biggest differences between them is that the 200, the bigger size, doesn't quite fit on a stair like the 160 does. The 160 fits on a stair with about an inch to spare, and the casters are also closer together. So I think the 160 size, if you're doing a lot of stair cleaning, is definitely the better way to go. The 200 might become Humpty Dumpty if you're not careful with him on stairs. So with the 200, definitely plan on putting him on top of a landing or at the base of a stair. Well... In conclusion, which Henry should you choose? I personally don't have much of a preference between them. 
They're both excellent machines. They come with basically the same tools. I personally prefer the compact size because he balances on stairs and his slightly smaller wheelbase allows him to maneuver a little bit better. They both maneuver very, very well. These are definitely better than the Electroluxes or the things that some of us grew up with in terms of canister vacuum cleaners. Um, and they're both made in the UK, you know, and that says something. When you make something in a first world country and you're not making something overseas, that takes a lot and says a lot about the company. Uh, so thanks for watching. Please comment below. Tell me why you picked one over the other. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and as always, if you want to support the channel, there are links below to both of these products where you can support me. There's also a Patreon below if you wish to donate as well. Have a wonderful day.